Live in the flesh for the very first time ever on <laughs> Ugandan no. TV. Yeah. <laughs> like, okay. do people interview on Ugandan TV? Uh, no. No. Actually, they don't. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but Flavia, course. welcome to the show. Thank you. You have been here before as a host, though. It feels like home. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah yes. as, as, as a host for the show. Mm -hmm. How was that experience? First April, Whew. Fool's Day. I think we succeeded as a team here and we're like, whoa, that was, we pulled that one we off. Pulled it, yes, it, it, it was, I think my stomach and my entire body was boiling the mm. entire time. It might have looked like I was so calm and everything was fine, but I was like, no, but why? People are watching. But no, <laughs> what am I saying? What am I doing? It, it's nerve-wracking because I've been on TV, but it, it depends on the, on the context of TV you're in, you mm -hmm. know, the audience you're speaking to. And I only had literally hours to prepare because they told me right. the day before they said, you'll yeah. be there. And I said, okay. Yeah. Then I got here and it got real. Yeah. But it was lovely. And we didn't want you to spoil it, you know, tell, <laughs> yes, telling all your people. And I'm like, yeah, guys, I'll be on interview. <laughs> what? Okay. Yeah. You always bring it up at that time. True. Did you always know you wanted to do this? Is this the life that you looked at? Because some of us, you know, wanted to be diplomats. Oops. And I was like, I want to be Your foreign Your dreams are service. still valid. <laughs> <laughs> My dreams are valid. Yes. Uh, and then ended up in TV. And mm. I, was, I was thinking, I should have done this in S6 probably. <laughs> you say TV generally? Yeah. Um, I don't think I always, I didn't aim for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but uh, when I, I started doing TV when I was young and it became, it, it looked like it was something normal for me. I didn't have to work too hard for it. Right. It just came to me and I felt at home and at ease doing it. So I, I figured maybe that's what they mean when they say talent. Yeah. You know, because yeah. someone singing to us sounds so divine. Yeah. But to them it's like, oh, oh. just another day. So I figured maybe it's a calling. I should, you know, focus a bit more onto it. That's when I put it in the hard work. Right. It, it stopped being a hobby. It mm -hmm. then became work. So I guess it, it happened to me. Yeah, it happened to me. Talking to a couple of people who know you and went to school with you yeah. and they say, wow, this girl has actually <laughs> worked for what she has now. You're, you growing up, how yes. has that shaped the kind of woman you are now? I was a very mad child. That's a big sign. <laughs> yes. so. I, was, I was a very mad child at school. So I don't want to say that I was disciplined and everything led to who I am today. But I was always focused. Mm -hmm. I, I always knew this is where I wanted to be, this is where I wanted to go. If it took extra sacrifice, it's fine. I'll do it. I'll take it. If, mm -hmm. if I'm going to get to, I always looked beyond now. Mm -hmm. uh, so, but, but I, I think I had a very um, humble childhood, a very humble you know, experience growing up. Mm -hmm. And it, 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 it only comes in handy now when you're at a certain point <laughs> in your career that you're like, oh, thank God I was humble. Otherwise, yeah. it would have been here yeah. <laughs> sitting. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so I think the humble beginnings and humble uh, experience growing up probably shaped me to take some of the challenges that actually come with my job. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Those challenges. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> actually, I, I, somebody on Twitter, I, I forget the handle, I could have gotten it out. It said, please, Brian, ask her what the challenges have been. For TV and radio. You, you, you started presenting when you were what? 14. 14. Yeah. And at 14 years old. <laughs> I thought you were going to ask me how old I am. I'll tell you. Yeah, how old are you? 27. <laughs> 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 I've been waiting to say that. 27. <laughs> Huh? Yes. At 14 years, you are you are still a child, yes. and of course, you, you you're actually a teen. You're driven yes. by you want to be the celebrity. You're the cool kid <laughs> on the block, like you know. I hear, I Up hear to this point, saying. you've done TV for what? I've only 13? missed two years from 14 till now. Yeah. The rest have been on TV. Major challenges. Major challenges. There's life challenges. And then there's career challenges, right? People have to separate the two. Yeah. Um, the career challenges, I've always said, um, till now, mm -hmm. it, I don't really think I, I've, I've been blessed, to be honest. I've been blessed that my peers have supported me in one way or another. Um, the thing about our industry, maybe every industry, who knows, if you put in the work, mm -hmm. the results will show. Right. But starting off, people didn't trust a teenager. 
with anything. So yeah. you're at 18 and nobody wants to give you a job. Not because they don't think you're good at it, but because they think, how are we supposed to sell an 18-year-old in the African setting, right. working? Because they say, I can't, eh, kaine mputu, you know, keraga. Mm -hmm. Because your auntie be very outspoken and opinionated, and they're thinking, this guy was raised badly. So it took a while to sell that young people can actually do this yeah. and still be sane and normal mm -hmm. outside. Then later on, I know that the press, people complain about bad press and, you know, people talking about them bad in the papers, bad stories. It comes with the territory. You have to grow up, dust yourself up and, and move on, on right. you know, because right. if they're going to write nice things about you tomorrow, they have to just, they're, it's their job, yes, they're tabloid, about they're, about, yes. they're bound to write something. Right. Um, what you can do is outperform it, outperform the bad. Keep working, keep proving to the people with action because you can't, you can't out talk everybody. Yeah. You know, people can't say bad things about you and you also start saying good things about you. Mm. Outperform it and with time, even if it takes 10 years, people will eventually see who you are. Right. Yes. That, that has, uh, well, have you had, not really. Bad press? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> And then we're in an era of social media. When I started doing TV, there was no Facebook. There was no Twitter. At some point later, there was MySpace. I don't even remember who used Child, this. We had SMS. Eh? We had SMS. You were cool we like say, that. We would say, Flavia is not just well today. And the scroll will run down. Run down, down. But so quickly. <laughs> yeah, so quickly. You see. No, it seems, no, it seems. So the pressure wasn't as much. But now you say one thing and someone says, did she say outspoken? Do you think she would have spelt it nicely if she wrote it? And they'll say, you know, they'll go on and on and on and on. But then, I mean, listen, social media, we need it, the people in, you know, this industry. So I'm not going to... It's a deliverable now yes. for us. So I'm not going to say I only, I only like it when I need it. You know, even when they're trashing me, even when they're saying bad things, it's, it's court of public opinion. Right. You know, they, they, they have to do that. They have right. to say what they want to say. Because at some point when I do good and I outperform it, they'll say good things. So you really can't fight it and only like it when it's nice. In a couple of minutes, we're going to open up the phone lines and you can call in and talk to Flavia. She's crossing her fingers, but I know lots of people were inspired by your story and those who watched you on Life Story, on, on, on our Life yeah. Stories show, uh, they were really inspired by what you've gone through. So we'll be opening up those phone lines in a couple of minutes. But uh, if you're just joining us, Flavia Tumsime, a news anchor here at NTV and entertainer, fine MC, beautiful. And also, the, you can tell when an accent is not forced that uh, <laughs> things are going well. How did yeah. that happen? How, <laughs> the Kazungu is... Uh, uh, oh my God. Oh my God. As if, uh, the, your Ella's and Ella's are in the right place. Right yes. place. Yeah. <laughs> yes. First time I, I, I saw you, mm. you were on Teens Club. And, yeah. and I thought, mm, this is a young person who is not forcing accents. <laughs> I was like, okay, that's mm. good. Second time I met you, you are a little older. I think I saw you with your girls at Nando's mm. eating pizza. Uh, and I was like, she everything. has made it. <laughs> she By the way, eating a burger back then, you had made it. Yeah. What are you saying? Yeah. I like, she's <laughs> eating pizza and not on a free uh, pizza eh? day. Moko coupons. <laughs> hey. I was oh, like, she man. has made it. <laughs> And I thought to myself, I have to work with this girl one day. Aww. I must work with this girl. And that opportunity came it when, did. When, when we worked together. And then, is that when you... Was that the birth of this news anchor thing? Because I want to give credit to myself. I for... can see that. I can <laughs> see that. Uh, and you know what? I, I, I was telling you before that I never forget anyone on my journey, mm -hmm. good or bad, and I never forget anything. I'm the one who can tell you what happened on my first day on TV. Yesterday, I'll tell you everything. You, I, I mean, I don't think, I, I don't want to burst your bubble, but you were not the reason. <laughs> you were not the reason for me coming to be an anchor. And, and, and I said the story in one of my 30 days stories. Right. That the story actually started years ago mm -hmm. when they tried to get me to be a news anchor. And I said, me, read news? No. Oh, no. I mean, the TV side that I'm, I'm good at is different. I'm trying to build that side. And I remember the, the producer for, you know, NTV saying, listen, you cannot be the quirky kid who talks about Beyonce forever. Yeah. Outgrow it. Grow and that. I said, yeah. I will outgrow it at the right time. And I guess it was the right time. Right. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, 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 I think my producer deleted that work, but... <laughs> <laughs> this one time we worked and pretended as news anchors, and I think those dreams are valid. Valid, and <laughs> yes. they're, they're becoming real. You have documented your journey in yes. 30 Days of Flavia. That has been 
all over social media. <laughs> yes. Tell, why did you decide to do this? Today was the, is actually the last day. It's the 30th day. Yes. Yes. So right timing. Uh, this is the Kasiki. <laughs> Have you posted it already? I have. Right. <laughs> You're like, wait, I missed. Talk. The reason, um, I've always wanted to, in one way or another, share my life. Because sometimes when, we, when you're going through something as Brian Molondo, you think, go eka. Yes. You know, you're the only person and life has become so bad and you're going to die and you'll never make it. But when you share, sometimes you realize people can inspire you too. They've gone through the exact same thing or mm -hmm. something worse. And you can give each other lessons. Because I always think, you know, you shouldn't dwell on the failures. You should just learn something, move on from it. Right. And I was going through a tough time. I was sharing today that I had a health scare and my personal life was crumbling down and my work was going up. You know when one thing in your life is going way up and the other part is going way down. Mm -hmm. And I was at a battle, I was at a loss. So I was praying, I was frustrated, I was complaining. And then I sat back and I said, why don't I count my blessings? Mm -hmm. Why don't I just appreciate even the little I have? Right. And I said, what if I shared with people? Because people knew Flavia to see me, but they always felt maybe there still is a mystery about me. And I like it that way. But they felt they couldn't relate. They, don't, they think everything was just handed to me. And they don't think there's any point of my life where they can say, I like Flavia or I'm not necessarily a fan of Flavia, but I relate to this part of her life. Right. I like being real. I'd rather have two fans who get it, yeah. you know, who are real, than having somebody who's pretending because I'm realistic. Mm -hmm. So I said, let me just share with them. And if they learn from it, good. But if it helps me as well, good. You'll be surprised by day three, people were inboxing me and saying, what? You were speaking to me. I was in that exact position. If someone had given me that advice, then I would have been better. And till today. I think I read about day nine mm. where you posted something that, you know, I've, I, I relate to and how you, you think, you know, you, you stop getting being in touch with people mm. uh, because you think at that point they have a lot of you know ish going on yes, and like, don't busy. talk to me yes. you are out of my life yes. and then years later you realize oh i need this person i, I wish i had kept this contact yes. and, that, and i thought hmm, this this is wise yes uh, but i have to talk about this day 27 has been all over social media yeah. uh, the j call crisis yes. and um yeah <laughs> Don't worry, I'm <laughs> honest. Go on, what's the question? Um, many people think you shouldn't have mentioned mm. J. Cole's name. Yeah. And it's what you've done in all your posts. You know, I, and of course, I, at one point I was bitter. Mm. I was like, why isn't she mentioning people? The people, yes. And, 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 and now, actions right there on your post, if mm. you see that. Yes. Tell, tell us about that. <laughs> and and, and I'm, I'm talking about this because I read that post and... I think people was, have misunderstood yes, the post, true. but go on and yeah. tell us. Um, this is probably the, going to be the first and last. I, w I was actually not planning on saying anything about it because, I mean, I, it's there. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? If you read and took your own, it's your reaction. You can deal with your reaction. I don't have to deal with it. But um, in, in the entire post, some of the posts I'd say, I'm not going to mention this person's name because it directly maybe affected that person and I, I didn't want that person to be affected in any way. Um, I stand by my decision for yeah. writing that uh, post. That's why it's still up yeah. and it you, will not you, go you, down. You, you haven't taken it <laughs> down. It will not go down. Everyone will say but, it's going to take it down. But I, I, I get the, the, the multitude of reactions that have come with the post. For different reasons, though. Mm -hmm. Everyone has their reason for reacting the way they have to that post. Everyone has um, their criticism. They could be right. They could be wrong. I could be right. I could be wrong. But I wrote something, and I wrote it, and at the end, I gave a message, mm -hmm. right? That's the message I intended to give somebody, and I stand by that message. And that message yeah, makes sense. It made, it made sense. It still makes sense to right. me, and trust me, it makes sense to someone. It could be one, two, three, four people mm -hmm. out of the many people who were saying the negative about it mm -hmm. but i'm standing by it um mentioning j cole's name i mean it was it, i don't have any security against it do you know what i mean yes i am not looking for any favors for mentioning j cole's name mm -hmm. um did i feel the story would not have made an impact if i just said uh, a rapper a guy who was there and then, people would have then poked and said it doesn't sound like a, you know uh, uh, why are you uh, sharing or you're not sharing but i was even talking to some guys and i was saying well so, so i asked them okay if he if if flavia had said bobby wine 
told <laughs> wanted perhaps it would have but you know time. that's them perhaps it would have been no more what are you reacting because it's an international artist a yes. big artist but you know brian um in my years of, of dealing with media and um people's reactions towards things that are said or not even said i've learned that you 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 can only do as much okay i i stand by what i said my conscience is clean okay mm -hmm. and i have nothing against anyone i have nothing against j cole i have nothing against the people who have taken it the wrong way uh, and it, it, if anything stayed permanent, would all be dead. <laughs> you yes. know, if people said anything against us and we wallowed and cried, and we would really be dead. But you know, let them have their moment. Let them have their reaction. I'm sure people have said things and have reacted a certain way before. So I'm not saying I'm perfect. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm not replying anybody. That's why I'm not reacting to anybody because. Perhaps they have their reasons for, for saying, perhaps they feel that way and they're strong about their feelings the same way I'm strong, about, strong my about my feelings. Yeah, so let them have fun. Let them do as much as they want to do. I stand by my ground and that's my point. I can't change it or shift it right. because somebody feels a certain type of way. And I'm not negative towards them as well. I, have, I carry nothing against anybody. I wrote my 30 days. I'm proud of them. Awesome. I'm happy. Today is the last day. You can go to Flavia Tumusime's uh, Facebook page yeah. and read the last story. Hashtag 30 Days of Flavia. <laughs> if you also want to interact with her, at Ms. Flav. Ms. Flavia, we have about two minutes to wrap this up. Yes. Advice to young girls who want to be like you, who say, wow, she, you know, uh, your pictures are always <laughs> like, mm, dark face. <laughs> Brian, just breathe in and breathe. pause. And then pause and do the circumference. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Girls who want to be like you, mm. what advice do you give them? I don't think you should be like me, you know? I don't think you should aim to be like Flavia. You should pick certain aspects of Flavia that you think can help you on your journey because mm. I'm imperfect. I've made countless mistakes mm -hmm. and some I'm still making and I'm still not going to learn from some lessons I don't even know which they are but you can pick certain parts of life if she works hard I'd like to work hard she achieves I'd like to achieve she's prayerful I'd like to be prayerful. Mm -hmm. you know pick certain pieces of my life and career that you would like to use in yours but every time you aim to be someone you're going to be disappointed the next day when Flavia says something True. that's not right and say I was hoping to be like her but look at her now you know she's broken it no so mm -hmm. pick certain bits of my life but I'll tell you that over the years hard work does pay mm -hmm. you know and with hard work comes negativity comes people who won't believe in you comes people who will actually be giving you criticism you know sometimes we close our ears off people giving us criticism because they're haters i don't believe in haters mm -hmm. <laughs> people use that a lot i don't believe in that everyone has a reason they might tell you your shoes are not nice they don't hate you look at the shoes they first the shoes. if you they could be a mistake somebody Change could be shoes. helping so learn to listen analyze and take take what you can from what people are saying and awesome. what you don't need let it go. Just focus and work hard. It does pay. It does. Flavia yeah. Tumsime. Always you always a pleasure. do that. High five. Yes. High five. <laughs> Comrades. <laughs> We're cool like that. Well, you can continue this conversation on our Twitter handle oh, at yeah. morning at NTV. Tag us in those conversations. <laughs> yes. At Ms. Flav and at Brian Melando. Hashtag 30 days of Flavia. Uh, made big news. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> in the East African community, and I uh, hope you've got your clarity here if you needed one. Uh, but uh, m I always say this on the show you do not va need validation from anyone for being awesome. Go out <laughs> and be the best you can be. And someone posted something haters make us famous. Oof. I think that's where that's tweetable, <laughs> yo. That's tweetable. Pat, are you tweeting that? Like, just write at Brian on the hashtag. Haters make us fail. No comment. Yeah, no please comment. don't insert <laughs> me in that tweet. <laughs> we'll be right back with another fierce lady who is not happy because she's celebrating Eid. But at one o'clock, we'll be at her house. She's going to be talking sport. Aisha, come.